invite our first presenter, Dr. Peter Stahl. He's the managing director of Wagner Rail Graham. And since 2021, he is managing director of Wagner Rail, which was founded due to the increasing market's needs in this business segment and is member of several European standardization groups in the railway sector, that is CEN and AGA guideline group. And today he's going to present on aspiration smoke detection in railway vehicles, experience over the last 30 years and solutions for special applications. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome Dr. Peter Stahl. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, very happy to have the possibility to speak here from my side, Peter Stahl from Wagner Rail. Um, as mentioned uh, before, thank you for the uh, kind of uh, introduction. So um, I'm happy to be here at this uh, outstanding conference and also uh, I am very happy that I have the possibility to meet here our customers and partners on the uh, Indian uh, market. Um, in my short presentation, about 15 minutes, I will uh, talk about a little bit who is Wagner, what are we doing and uh, where are we present also on the Indian market. We talk about uh, design possibilities and optimization of our products, sensitivities, experience and outlook. So what is Wagner Rail? Wagner Rail is a company focused on fire protection solutions for rolling stock. That is fire detection systems, fire extinguishing systems, fire suppression systems, which can be used on railway vehicles. Uh, managing directors, that's myself and my uh, colleague Markus Müller, who is also here with me on this uh, conference. The Wagner Group itself is a, a group uh, which is family owned, uh, has a headcount about 700 uh, people, more than 700 people. We with Rail have our headquarter close to Munich in Germany, but have subsidiaries in several places of the world. Um, a high portion of our product is uh, own development and manufacturing, and we offer for fire protection in railway a complete system portfolio. And a huge number of references we have all over the world. Um, generally, what we do and try to offer to our customers is from a single source Everything from research and development over construction, planning and engineering, execution, commissioning, installation support, as well as service maintenance. Retrofit certification is, of course, a part of our offering. What is our portfolio? I tried to mention it already. It's fire detection on railway vehicles, including aspiration smoke detection, including point type detectors like multi-sensor detectors, including fire control units, linear heat detectors. It is also fire extinguishing with a nitrogen or aerosol and um, it is fire fighting with a two-phase flow water mist technology for some passenger areas. Some references we are having are some uh, maglev uh, trains, like, for example, the maglev train in Shanghai running uh, from the city to the airport. So engines from the Indian Rail were equipped with aspiration systems of, uh, with Wagner products already 25 years ago, uh, delivered from Switzerland. Metro Shenyang in Asia here in India, our biggest reference is the uh, fire detection with aspiration system on the LHB coaches. We have uh, high-speed trains. These are Asian references, of course. In Europe, there are many more. We do our local business in India, which is, as I said before, the uh, LHB uh, fire detection system for the Aircon LHB coaches with a local partner, uh, JK Exim, managing director. I'm happy to have him here at this conference with us too. They are located 
here in New Delhi and have manufacturing sites and mounting sites and support centers at several places throughout India. And um, we do the installation uh, on the fleet of the LHB coaches based on uh, the, uh, our aspiration smoke detector products with localization here in India with additional housings and functionalities um, which are added here by our partner. We have installed by now more than 4,000 coaches across the Indian railway network um, and um, are happy to do more. What is it, uh, ASD aspiration smoke detection? We are using here the uh, ProSense uh, product, Titanos ProSense Rail in India, which is uh, available also with a hardware CL2 certification. It's the size. Um, yeah, the advantage of uh, aspiration smoke detection is that it is fast and reliable. You cannot see the installation because if you hide the unit somewhere behind the wall and also the piping which is connected, you can hide behind installations so it's not visible. Biologic sense, the number of false alarms are, are very small. We have algorithms to uh, evaluate if the smoke has the pattern of a real fire or rather a cigarette smoke or something like that. Um, we can detect contamination, so when the system gets dirty, you get a fault message. And as it actively uh, sucks in air for detection, we have no impact from the uh, HVAC system or air flows, which are negatively adverse effects of our system. We have fulfilling all the relevant specific requirements and standards in Europe, VDS approval, and of course, we are certified by RDSO for the use on the LHB aircon uh, coaches. This is uh, basically how such a system looks like. You have the unit which I, which I have shown as a picture before, and connected to the unit you have a pipe network with some holes. These holes are the so-called air sampling point, and like with a vacuum cleaner basically, you constantly draw in air through the uh, air sampling points and uh, in the detector module inside the box you look, look if there are smoke particles or not by optical means. There's of course a ventilator installed in the box which provides the airflow. There's filter is needed in order to separate dust from the uh, real airflow. And I mentioned it already uh, before, it's not a new technology, air sampling smoke detection on rail. We did it already since 30 years, we are doing that business. The first fire protection systems on locomotives anywhere installed were such ASD systems, and they are partly still in operation. Um, it was put into operation out of Switzerland uh, with a combination of a product of us and Cerberus at that time. And these were locomotives produced by ABB and Atrans, and that's how they came to India, because India uh, decided to pur purchase at that time um, and manufacture locally then later on uh, that sort of locomotive. How does the system uh, design look um, in India? That is the example of an LHD coach. You see here the layout of the LHD coach and LHB coach and um, it has been successfully tested according to the RDSO uh, standard. It's also in compliance with the European standards. And all critical areas, you see the red triangles, these are the air sampling points. So at all these red points, we take uh, air into the system and analyze it for uh, smoke. And that is uh, in the passenger area, but also in the electrical cabinets, gangways, and toilets. In case of a fire on that particular train set, there is then provision for an automatic braking mechanism. What is um, our experience in India, but also in all other parts of the world with the use of uh, air sampling smoke detection? It is that the correct position of the air sampling point is very important. It needs to be in the airflow and at the airflow where the smoke is coming to. It shall not draw like for example in a, in a channel or something, secondary clean air, because that dilutes the smoke 
and hinders the quick detection. And what we also see, um, a railway is not a building, so that means, uh, of course, that you have different air situations during the ride. Uh, doors can open, uh, climatization strength can change, height or weather can change, and that means um, the airflow will change of the unit a little bit, and uh, um, you have to uh, provide a decent uh, level of a window of allowed airflow before giving an airflow fault in order to have here a good, good solution and also the recirculation of the air needs to be considered to be here very stable. Um, we do measure the airflow. Why do we measure the airflow? Because if there's no airflow, we must assume the system is blocked or if there's too high airflow, we must assume the system is broken, the pipe is broken. Contamination is a topic and therefore we have several sorts of filters available to filter out dirt and dust, but not filter out smoke, which is important because if you filter out the smoke, then nothing can be detected. And these filters are of course also tested within the fire test. A topic which is important is the one of sensitivity. So the sensitivity of the unit must be higher than that one of a normal point type smoke detectors. If you in a building have a point type smoke detectors, it has usually a sensitivity of 3.5% uh, per meters. That means uh, on a light length of, of a one meter, 3.5% weaker light uh, is, is needed in order that the smoke is detected. Um, so to say, and if you have 10 of those, of course, the unit must be 10 times more sensitive so that the sensitivity of one single point is the same as about a point type detector. Um, but what sensitivity classes exist? We have classes A to C available in the standard EN54, that's the same like in the ISO standard. Um, and we have very early detection with A, early detection with B, and normal detection with C. Um, a is for clean rooms, also very, very clean environment. B is for normally for a computer rooms or such types of installation, where C is a normal hotel application or somewhat like that. And uh, if we are asked, we always tell for a train you need a C sensitivity. If you go higher up with the sensitivity, it's technically possible we can do it, but it makes no sense because you will have all the time a lot of alarms uh, from nuisance uh, uh, signals from a bit dirt in the air from a little smoke which is maybe coming out through the doors and uh, no steady opening of the vehicle is, is possible and also uh, there's no need for that because um, a standard uh, a smoke situation will build up within a train when there is a fire. In addition, uh, so uh, saying that, you see it, for the classification of the system, it's, it's not only important what can the unit do, but also how big is the pipe system you connect. The same system with one pipe and one with one hole can be a class A system, but if you connect uh, 10 or 20 uh, uh, air sampling holes to it, it may become a C system sim simply because the uh, dilution of the air by a lot of holes. Open windows is a requirement. We just had discussions here in India uh, regarding cars, non-aircon cars with open windows. Haven't had the chance to equip one yet in India, but we did it already in Switzerland. Um, for example, the uh, trains which you find in the, uh, in the Alps, the uh, scenic uh, uh, trains, do have openable windows so that the tourists can take pictures and there we have applied the ASD systems already successfully and this was also certified by TUV rail up to a speed of 120 kilometers. I see I have 50 seconds left so I'm coming to my outlook. The outlook is um, 
uh, what will certainly be something uh, which is going up into the future is uh, more integration of our systems in the train bus, in the train communication system and the Internet of Things. Um, that we give information out before a fault system, a fault of the system occurs that there might be maintenance needed in the future. We are offering now soon a maintenance information function for our systems. And uh, the integration into train bus systems, let it be both standalone systems or systems with a fire alarm control panel, uh, is, a, is a topic which is important. But it's competing with the other requirement of um, system integration and cyber security. So if you exchange data, it must be secure. And there you have a little bit of competing uh, requirements. Some customers say, we want all integrated. Some customers say, give us dry relay context, then we don't have to think about cyber security. So there's a bit of an ab ambiguous topic which we have you. But at the end, I thank you for your attention.